All right, so LG just released a product video of this monitor here. And every now and then I click on these videos because sometimes they have cool animations and cool renders to take inspiration from. But the craziest thing about this video is you scroll down into the comments and there are a flood of people talking about how bad this monitor is because it has a matte coating. I'm not exaggerating. Literally 80% of the comments, at least, are people talking about how they would never go anywhere near this monitor because of the coating type used, because it's not glossy. And this caught me really off guard because this hasn't been my experience at all. In fact, if you remember my review of this monitor, which I posted about a week ago, I actually said that I slightly preferred this matte coating over glossy. Evidently though, this is definitely worth taking a closer look at. So let's do that. I've got two monitors side by side here. On the left is the LG 32 GS 95 UE, which has a matte coating and a W OLED panel. And then on the right, we have the new Asus PG32 UCDM, which has a glossy coating and a QD OLED panel. Now, the first thing worth clearing up is this labeling of matte versus glossy, because the Asus here, which is a glossy coating, is not as glossy or mirror-like as your TV series in your living room and this matte coating on the LG is nowhere near as matte as your typical gaming monitor. I think a lot of people hear matte and immediately think it's going to be like their gaming monitor that might be sitting at their gaming setup at the moment but it doesn't look like that at all. In fact from some angles it actually looks a little bit reflective and ironically kind of glossy. It very much looks like a hard solid glass coating rather than a hazy matte film that a lot of IPS, TN and VA monitors have had over the past few years. Years. Some of you might remember the video I did with the glossy Eve Spectrum monitor. That was my first experience with a glossy coated gaming display. And for that panel, it did make a huge difference. I actually measured higher contrast ratios, the image looked richer and clearer, and it was easily preferable. With these new OLEDs though, I've got to be honest, I just haven't been seeing that same difference. Both monitors here are set to the exact same brightness at 230 nits. There's no direct light hitting the panel for this first comparison either. And so the online assumption seems to be that these matte coated OLEDs have worse contrast and detail compared to glossy. But to me, they look almost identical. Like there's no difference in contrast. There's no difference in the black levels or the saturation. Even when diving into the waveform in my editing software, which gives you an objective readout of the colors and the contrast, both are pretty much identical despite some slight color temperature differences. But let's take an even closer look. Using a 200 mil macro lens, we get to see the actual individual pixels here at 4K. This is very hard to see with your own eyes, even super up close. And both screens here are incredibly sharp up but we do see a couple of differences. The glossy coating on the right is a tiny bit sharper and clearer. We can see the edges of the pixels just a little bit more distinctly than the matte coating on the left. But at this level, we can also see the chromatic fringing due to the QD OLED sub pixel layout. Green at the top and magenta on the bottom edge is typically what you'll see here for these QD OLEDs. And personally, I do prefer that cleaner look of the LG on the left, even despite it being a little bit softer, but at normal viewing distances, you're just not gonna see that. In fact, sitting at your desk and viewing either monitor at arm's length, I can't say there's a massive real difference between these two displays. So yeah, I mean, if you're literally pressing your eyeballs against the panel, you will see a sharpness difference between these two coatings in favor of the glossy, which does look a little bit clearer and sharper. But I've got to say the meat and potatoes here, which is like the contrast, the saturation, the overall punchiness, the black levels as well. I mean, for actually being two completely different panels from different manufacturers, it is scary how close they look. That is until we introduce some light because that's where we see a bigger difference. I know we're comparing matte versus glossy primarily here. That's what most people are concerned about. But what we should really be looking at here is W OLED versus QD OLED. That's really where the biggest difference is. QD OLED doesn't play nicely with light directly hitting the panel. As you can see, the black levels rise a huge amount. If you do go with a QD OLED and you really care about this stuff, then you need to be controlling the amount of light that's in your room, especially the light above you and behind you. Now I've actually been using both of these monitors at my own setup for gaming and editing. And aside from the black level issue on the Asus QD OLED, which I can control for just by adjusting my lights and windows, I do find the reflections just a little bit more distracting on that glossy coating compared to the matte that we see on the LG. I feel like my eyes are sometimes fighting what to focus on and just getting a little bit distracted. Whereas with the matte coating, there's just a tiny bit of glare, which isn't really noticeable. And that's it. Again, though, I have to say this is a slight preference and the overall specs of the monitor are much more important to me. I will say though, a lot of the comments saying that the glossy coating is sharper than what LG has been using with their matte coating 
Technically, they are correct. If we look at the sub-pixel layout, there is a clear difference between the two. On the LG, you can barely make out the individual sub-pixels. Glossy QD OLED, on the other hand, is as clear as it gets. And then we zoom out a bit and take a look at text clarity. Again, glossy is sharper around those edges. It's just a plain fact. But unless you're an ant, this isn't what you'll see. What you'll actually see is this. By just slightly winding back the focus on the camera, it brings the sharpness much closer to real life. And I have to say at this point, it's the W OLED with the matte coating that I think looks better. The color fringing is almost non-existent. Both monitors also have a similar amount of blooming around pure white edges on a black background. It's not like the matte coating is super hazy here at all. And HDR still looks extremely impressive with pure blacks and amazing highlights. So I think the best way to sum this up is that I do have a pretty strong preference for W OLED over QD OLED. I think with W OLED, you just have a cleaner sub pixel layout with less color fringing and just better looking text in windows in general. And the contrast and the black levels are not affected at all by the ambient light like they are with QD OLED. But when it comes to the coding, matte versus glossy, I honestly can't say I care too much. I would be happy using either one. You know, comparing them side by side, it's just confirmed what I've thought and experienced throughout all of my reviews. The matte coating on the LG W OLED is nowhere near as matte and hazy as you probably think it is. So look, between these two monitors, I'm honestly going with the LG, not because of the subpixel layout, not because of the coating type, but simply because it has the 480 hertz mode with a single press of a button. That to me, honestly, is super, super valuable as someone who primarily plays esports games and was previously swapping between two two whole monitors on their desk. Now, if you don't care about that 480 hertz mode, then the ASUS QD OLED is still an incredible monitor and it's gonna be a massive upgrade over what most people are currently using.